the world's big pets. More specifically, Shamu and Mamu arrived today. They came all the way from Orlando, Florida, along with some other little guys. And while they flew into town for the summer, hundreds of folks are already waiting for the big arrival at SeaWorld. Bill Yunkin was one of them. For the hundreds waiting, it seemed like an eternity. Some little guys just gave up altogether. You couldn't ask for better weather. The park's about ready, and so are several hundred special guests for the big arrival. But isn't this a school day? You didn't go to school today because you wanted to watch Shamu and Mamu? Mm-hmm. Don't you feel badly about it? No. Donnie Root of Euclid isn't the only one playing hoogie today. Beth Lancaster of Solon is, too, even though her what's girlfriend so, thought so she shouldn't talk so much. This? Well, it's better than being with Mrs. Reed. <laughs> Who's that? That's one of our teachers. <laughs> it didn't take long once all the SeaWorld stars left Hopkins. They even had a police escort. And then the big arrival. Young and old alike, they watched as Shamu was gently lifted from the truck and placed in his summer home, and off he went. And then Namu, a team for the summer, which officially begins here on opening day just 19 days away. For the lucky ones here today, it's a glimpse of all the fun in store this summer. You can bet this little girl will be back. After all, she's in love with a killer whale. Over there, wave bye-bye to him. Mama kiss. At SeaWorld, I'm Bill Yunkin for Live on Fox. Season's over. Remember back in the summer, you loaded the family in the station wagon, headed off for SeaWorld, and prayed you'd find a parking space when you got there. Well, now it's the middle of October, and finding a parking space at SeaWorld would be the least of your problems. And once inside the park, you'll immediately notice the changes. No need to find your way to a front seat for any of the shows. No waiting in long lines to get yourself a drink or something to eat. This is SeaWorld after the season, and it's a different park altogether. The sound of crowds cheering has been replaced by the rustling of leaves and of workers readying the park for, you guessed it, next year. Shamu has stayed in Cleveland longer than usual this year, but if you're worried he may be lonely, no problem. Shamu still gets the same amount of attention whether there's people out here or not. We've we still do training sessions and play times and, and socialization times with the killer whales, whether there's people watching or not. Uh, we still come out and perform a lot of the show behaviors that he would normally do during shows. Uh, we still get in the water and swim with him, so we're still playing with him and interacting with him. So he really doesn't miss the crowd that much. Chuck and his wife Kathy will move to California with Shamu. I go where the killer whales go because I have a relationship with these particular killer whales. And I wouldn't leave them until another person has filled my shoes or built their relationship with that whale so they felt comfortable with that person. And how does his wife feel about that? That's the ongoing joke with my wife. I spend more time with these killer whales than I do my wife at home. But not everyone's heading west or south for the winter. The newest and most exciting attraction at SeaWorld is the penguin encounter. Now the penguins are one of the few animals that actually remain at SeaWorld during the off season. And they'll be very busy during this time, building their nest, trying to make new penguins for next year. Assistant Curator of Mammals and Birds, Dudley Wigdahl, says SeaWorld is doing all it can to assure their feathered friends will be dating and mating. We've gone ahead and taken a portion of snow out that's in front of our mountain and thawed that down. And we've brought in, oh, a good couple yards of rocks and put them in place, a little border around and uh, given them a rookery to breed in and to lay their eggs in. So uh, we expect them to recognize this, uh, go into this behavior, and, uh, and start setting up little territories within this, uh, this rookery. There are six varieties of penguins at the park, six kinds of birds who just love our cold Cleveland winter weather. But Dudley says it's not likely that any of the penguins will have the chance to go out and play in the snow. I don't think we'll let them go outside. Uh, they're used to this environment. Uh, it's, it's the only environment they've ever known. Uh, it might upset the balance, especially during our breeding season. Uh, I think we'll keep them inside and, uh, and see how it goes. Well, Shamu and his friends have packed their bags and headed off for warmer places. <laughs>